Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with a pike and shot mod. Last time around we had the Battle of the Mecklenburg Pastures of March 1625. Since then I marched on and was able to quite quickly defeat the uh, main force that was um, held in Mecklenburg because we've already defeated two major forces. One, of course, all the way up here where we got uh, the ambush and then this one where they sallied forth to meet us. So the two armies are now resting in place, uh, preparing for uh, continued campaigns against Hanover and Denmark. Reinforcements are on the way. We got German heavy cavalry and German mercenaries marching in. Um, mostly it's going to be cavalry for uh, Tilly. He's going to replace some of his lighter cavalries. And then there's also going to be cavalry for um, Papenheim and certainly more um, musketry troops for Papenheim as he currently has a lot of pikes. That's why I added the Irish to his force as well. Meanwhile, we of course took Western Prussia for quite a while ago, and Wallenstein is now free. So Wallenstein will be moving down, and I think we're going to use Wallenstein to then attack the Saxons. What I have in mind here is a cunning plan. So cunning, in fact, you might think a fox uh, thought it. Um, what I did in between episodes, when I was moving troops around and, you know, trying to figure out how to avoid certain crashes and stuff like that, I moved this smaller force in through here, and I got the main Saxon army to sally forth and attack me over here. If I could do something similar, where I could march this one, bait out the big army, then Wallenstein could come from the north strike and take it over and that would be a wonderful plan to avoid a very big siege with a lot of nasty um, casualties um, still there probably will be quite the garrison spawned but not nearly as tough as a full stack would be so that's kind of my plan there and other than that, I don't have that many plans. Uh, so that's what's going on in the north right now. Down in the south, we might go to Sicily because right now, I'm just now able to transport this army. Bring them all on. I'm just now able to transport them. Oh, I thought I'd... I thought I... Oh, because maybe they lose a bit of um, movement range because they uh, took on a force of troops. Maybe I should send the ship first to actually figure out if there's an Ottoman navy in port. Or one that could threaten this navy. No, there's nothing there. It's completely open, so we are full stack. It's able to land here. And then we should be able to march down and uh, liberate, once again within quotation mark, liberate the Greeks. So we'll see how we do with that. In the meanwhile, as well, if we go a little bit north again, ending up in Eastern Europe, what we've got is we've got an Ottoman stack ready to attack the Balkans and Belgrade in particular. Quite a nasty force here of Ottoman troops. Now I do have a force right here that we're going to bring to bear. What I'm thinking is cavalry will be easy enough to uh, send in. going to put the general in charge. The only one I kind of... Piccolomini is a name that I recognize. So we'll put... Um, Piccolomini in charge of that. And they'll be sallying forth, and I think that's going to be today's battle. And over here, our army has um, pushed through, and it's on its way to Bucharest to kind of cut off the Ottoman Empire. So that'll be good. So we'll take that, and hopefully we'll crush this army right here. There's been quite a few Ottoman forces moving around. 
but by you know taking hopefully next turn we could if this army is able to march directly here after landing then in one or two turns we'll basically be able to half the amount of territories the Ottomans have and they'll lose two territories they've held from the start this one is one I believe they captured where it's been back and forth in between them and the Polish. So I don't think this is such a strong area in terms of um, economic potential for them. Compared to Bucharest and Athens. So with both of these falling. We'd see uh, quite the decrease in uh, Ottoman income. Especially since they will lose this port here. Now they do have the port over here. But definitely not as... Um, you know, they lose, once again, like they lose half the territories, half the ports. Um, they're uh, two stronger settlements. These are uh, two building settlements. I think this one is actually three, now when I look on it. This one's three. And this one's two. So they'll leave them with their capital, obviously a strong position. But uh, this one only having one. And with Poland... Now again, at war with them, could see them losing this territory. I actually had a deal from Poland quite recently, which I didn't accept. They wanted me to join their war against Brandenburg again. And their offer was actually to hand over Eastern Prussia. So I would get Königsberg. So that's a huge territory here. But I declined. I did not want Königsberg. Even though that would have... Just not so much that I don't want it. But I will benefit from a strong Polish ally. And taking Königsberg from them is, um, you know, taking quite a lot of territory from them. Uh, so that wouldn't have been good. With that said, I think we have an understanding of what's going on. I moved my fleets closer. And we have, um, no, there it is. We've dispatched all the trade ships to uh, various locations. So we're trading with sugar and all that um, ivory. So the battle navy, though, will continue up here and we'll set it somewhere up here to protect against the incursions of enemies. We haven't seen the French, even though we've held... You know, Marseille for I don't know how long. One problem with this, I'm not sure if it's sent through the mod, but like everyone's dying everywhere. I don't know if there's going to be any people left anywhere because like there's so many places which have less than a hundred thousand people living in them, and like. Like, where everyone's literally dying everywhere. I don't know if there's... There's very few places which has a positive growth rate. I don't know. If that's some... If that's a mishandling of balancing within the mod. Or if that's... I don't know. Well, I mean, it is the Thirty Years' War. It's one of the most destructive wars in European history. So it would make sense that... Literally everyone is dying, but um, I don't know. It would be odd to see a completely depopulated Europe. Although I'm sure quite a few other continents would be uh, quite happy with that. With that said, we'll go ahead and attack this Ottoman force. My lord? So I think they'll probably <laughs> intercept me before I'm able to... Wait, 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 wait. They intercepted this one as just as we were crossing swords here. They decided, nope, we're going to attack. Right. You stupid. Oh, God. I shouldn't even have moved him in. Right. We'll have to do it without that cavalry unit then. Might be just as well. This, I'm not very confident in this at all. Ottoman cavalry is really strong. And, like... Most of this army, this is kind of a bullshit army. Probably what I should have done is I should have sent at least the mortars to set up within the castle there. They probably could have done better work from there. 
Anyways, we'll try and kill as many Ottoman troops as possible. Um, suicide charge maybe on the cannon. Make it as hard as possible for them once they go at the castle at Belgrade. With that said, let's strike up the drum and march to battle. And so the stage is set for a showdown against the Ottoman army. We'll uh, put this as the center of our defense. We're gonna put uh, two units inside of it. And then the rest will be stationed outside. I've got six of the Sekban units set here. We're gonna roll up one of the cannons right here. I'm gonna have one in the back just in case the Ottomans take this house. I wanna be able to uh, destroy it. And then we're gonna get everyone kind of in position. Looking good. We've taken the building, sir. Uh, let's see. Is this the sixth one? Yeah, I forgot about that one. Actually, he will be stationed further forward in case I need to block units from coming into the house. Right, looks pretty good. I'm sending my cavalry around already, trying to uh, find an angle to take out their cannon. Sounds though like they are sending in their cavalry. There's not a lot I can do here. I can hope for the best that my um, gunners will do a lot of damage to them. Before they uh, reach the Sekban infantry, which cannot do a lot. Especially against what I assume is... Holy shit. Right. That was nasty. But again, they are taking a lot of casualties as well. So that's actually not the stronger type of cavalry. The Lance is just coming in right behind. I need to keep my cavalry alive though. Can my cannons set up so we get them online? That would be nice. Oh, where are they going? Right, keep keep avoiding the enemy for now. Ah, shit. That's a nasty hit. Okay, the lighter cannons are in position. It should be able to start firing. The first of the heavy cannons is in position. The one on the hill is in position. Alright, we got two units inside the house. Right here, we're getting... My cavalry unit has lost half its men and being chased off by the enemy. And not only that, the enemy is now charging into the flank of my Sekban units. That is not good. We're going to try and support it as well as I can. But uh, this is going to be difficult. Right, these should be firing already down upon the enemy. If there is cavalry, that should be the main targets. Okay, the... Nice, the Lancers coming back, so the Lancers will fight in this area. Which is nice. Let's make sure the General doesn't fire on his own troops. However, these guys will be rode up right up onto this hill and they'll be able to fire down hopefully on the enemy cavalry down there. General will be stationed close by just so I can support this area morale wise because I don't think the Sekban with their swords are going to do a lot of damage against the enemy. At the same time, we need to keep an eye on this area and we got to keep the enemy away from the house. At the same time, hoping to um, kill a lot of them in the process. Right, the pistol is firing down. The Ottoman Dragoons are doing pretty poorly. What's this? That's a melee unit that needs to be stopped. And that was my mortars situated back here. So they're starting to do damage. It's looking good. They were trying to uh, 
make their way into the castle or into the house. That's not happening though. What's this? Valakian mercenaries. I don't like that. We're going to send forwards more units, more Sekbar units. The cavalry needs to be held in place. It's probably more important now to turn the gunners around to deal with the enemy. And we have a unit inside the house. The general needs to come and support this area. We need to send in more Sekban units to stop them. Cannons will temporarily hold fire. But oh, we're getting we're getting attacked all over the place. These Lancers, it's good that they're uh, being uh, held in place right now, but that's a difficult... Uh, get back on your cannons, uh, get back on your cannons. 61% already. Maybe I should take the pistol here, so probably doing more damage here. Oh, I forgot to tell them to hold fire. That's bad. Alright, back on your cannons. Oh, you can fire canister. The fire canister straight ahead. Straight ahead to be sure. Alright, let's boost the morale here. You will fire that way. You will ba back on the cannons and canister. I want canister and I want canister straight through there. This unit's about to fall. Um, that's not good. I'm probably more worried about the Lancers in terms of overall effect on the battle. Holy shit, there's a bunch of people dying all over the place. This house is completely on fire. My Sekban units is actually making it inside. Oh, enemy general died. That's a good start, to be sure. Holy shit, that's an, there's an intense battle going on here. Have you fired canister? Yes. Uh, the problem is, now my own unit is in the way, so you can't really fire anymore. Oh, I think my mortars are actually uh, blowing up my own house there. I will order them to fire at the unit further away. Fire canister that way. Okay, one unit is breaking. These are holding on. You're producing fire against these. Um, as soon as I abandon this, we're going to have quite the difficulty. I'm hoping this one with pistols is doing a lot of damage there. Yeah. Mortars. Fire in on these. Oh, you're back. Okay, I want you to move back towards... Uh, oh, shit. We blew up our own men. With tons of our own troops. Pulling back, but loads of the enemy is as well. Are you firing fire canister towards there, then? Or maybe if you can turn on these, but I think that's probably too late. I'll move the general to fire a pistol on this. This battle is super intense. We're about to kill their stupid lancers. So that's good. And the house is still under our control. Oh, move away. It's better for you to move away and live another day. Continue to fire on that. Fired well and Sekban units. We need to reclaim those cannons. You're not doing too hot. Finally, these guys are freed up. We'll march towards here. We'll actually march everyone back towards here. And I'll need the cavalry over here. Everyone. Everyone needs to get over here. Are we about to lose the house? Yeah, we have only a few Croatian units left. 
And we have 150 enemies inside. Oh, they just fired. Okay. I will order detonation. Detonate that house. We just lost it. Fire will. Below the house to smithereens. There are 150. 145 ordnance inside. Boom. They're gone. Right. Cavalry is turned up. Oh, shit. Um... Let's try and pull back a little bit. See about reorganizing some troops here. Right, fight that one. My mortars do a hell of a lot of damage. So it could be good to use them. Okay, units are set to lose or retreat here. I'm going to switch to canister and set these guys to fire at will. And then the second cannon will be stationed next to it. General in the back. Let's get the uh, general over here. You can be stationed around the corner there. Uh, nasty units coming in. Right, deal with these. If you please. Can I get the gunners though out of there? I need my general here to support these guys. And then the pistoliers to come riding up. Firing into the side there. Good canister going in. They just tank the bloody canister, don't they? Okay, these idiots are coming around the corner. I mean, there's not much I can do there. We'll have to charge in. Oh no, they're under the range of the mortar. I don't think they can... F they have a very short distance of fire. Or in terms of, like, the area in which they can actually fire at the enemy is... Uh, Seems to be like here and there. Like it's a very short area. Maybe you can get back to the cannons actually. Okay, the two Sekban units retreated, but now the enemy is stuck in a cauldron of death as the 24th, the writers, and the general are all firing down upon this one. Right, reclaim the guns, and then um, the mortars will be firing on this unit. I have a pretty good chance here, still, to be able to defeat the enemy. Right, you're setting up there for canister. These are about to fire canister down upon these bastards. Nice! Come on! Give them another canister. Give them another round of canister. There's three cannons ready and loaded. Nice! Give them! Yes! Another one! Boom! Haha! <laughs> Where are you firing? I need you to fire over there. Before this one gives another fire, I will be ordering my cavalry to go after them. And then the musketeers will be readied. General close by. We've got a sec barn coming back. Any other troops that are coming back? No, not really. Hold fire. I actually want to push my cavalry through and maybe go for the enemy's uh, cannon could be a good uh, good spot to get rid of that one good timing oh, they they stop right in front of the light cannons as I'm ordering them to fire oh. <laughs> right in their faces 
We got one to two units to break up and the cannon crew is still operational. Right, I want the cannon crew to come around here. General to go around there and maybe maybe we can focus in and destroy this unit. This one's getting eaten up by my mortar. Okay, hold off on that one. Let's see if we can't break this unit. And maybe, just maybe, I can actually win this battle with the, sh the absolute shit army that I had. The longer the enemy just stays within cannon range, taking L after L, the better. Oh, these guys were broken. Nice. The mortars. Super impressive. Doing a lot of damage here. Alright. We're gonna just try and avoid this one for now. If you want to get another round of canister in your face. This one is going to be eaten up by the mortars if they stay at that range. Organize the cavalry around there. I mean, it's a super bloody battle with probably like 80% casualties. What's he doing all the way out there? The general will be situated here just so that he doesn't get hit by the cannon because he's still firing over here. Maybe I should switch to round shot. Because right now these guys can't fire at anything. Right, sick barn, exhausted, winded, fresh, tired, tired, fresh. He is going, he's continuously going after these. Maybe I can have um, them come from both sides. This one charging in, general coming out behind, firing pistols at close range. I almost would have reached out. Right, you will fire at that. You will take a position of the cannons again. be able to fire a canister. You're sitting over here. Ready to charge these. General come up behind. Fire a pistol. Oh, you're out of shot now. Switch to canister and fire straight out there towards them. You know what, I'll ride through there, attack them like that, and then it's an easier time for the general just to come in and hit him with pistols. And that's how we're gonna win the battle. They're hopefully not able to set up. No, they're not. Good. And now the general's coming in. He will be able to fire pistols at close range. Point blank range even. We shot a few of our own in the process. And... Oh, they broke even before they got to the cannons. Good. And now these are uh, being killed off. And like that, we are victorious. Now it's just getting at the enemy cannons. Should be an easy enough task for the cavalry. But with that, I'll uh, declare this battle a victory. Although, a super bloody one. Extremely bloody battle.
Oh shit, the battle is not over at all. Two units of Tartars have been spotted. And they routed my cavalry. And there's also uh, the cannon the cannon crew unit. My, uh, hopefully though, my mortars will do the trick here, and my cannons adding on to this. If the enemy stays within cannon range, there's still a chance for victory, but damn, I was not expecting. I should have seen this though. In uh, the meter here, it was clearly in favor of the enemy, which is was kind of unexplained given the numbers that we could see on the field, which clearly uh, was not representative of the units we could actually see. This cannon crew is kind of legendary. They really stay on the field of battle. Like, they will not retreat for anything, really. But I think probably one of the highest killers for this battle will be the mortars, given the amount that they have shot at the enemy. But now, finally, I think, unless they're hiding any more units, once these bastards are killed, I should be able to call this a victory. What a battle. I'm not sure I'll show it. I'd probably show it in the um, after roll. I won the battle in the very last second of the hour which it took to complete the battle. At the very end there was a hidden Orta unit of 280 troops. I wasn't able to get them to march within the range of my mortars. They stayed outside. So I had to kind of go back and forth with my general and in the end there was like 40 seconds left and I was like, oh, I need to defeat this unit because as I recall, I was the one who attacked, I was the one who was attacking and if I'm not able to break them, then it will turn into an enemy victory and so many of my troops will not recover after battle and the Ottomans will still have their army left after this. So that's going to be a big problem. I want my men, after having done all that against a superior force, I want them to survive. And so I charged in, and like in the last moment, it didn't look like it was going to break, but then the enemy unit broke. Right at like the last, like one or two seconds, it turned zero just as they broke. And then it lingered a little bit like, three seconds, three seconds, maybe three, four seconds at the end there lingered and then the victory sign came up. Close victory. God. Right. Let's take a look at the statistics of this battle. Mortar battery is the highest killer, no surprise there. Uh, Austrian uh, musketeers, this is the one unit that survived, not the unit that was stuck in the building as that exploded. General Bodyguard killed 261, that's good. Uh, then we've got one of the big artillery pieces, that's the one on the um, top of that mountain. And I think this is the one Sekban unit that actually stood to the end. They were so tired they weren't able to take part in the last battle, or really what it was, I wasn't able to um, bring them in close enough. Uh, Croatian Musketeers, 
did pretty well here. Uh, unfortunately, they were stuck in the house as it exploded. And, uh, yeah, there was utter slaughter. There was 6,000 men on the field. Only about 600 are <laughs> survived. So you get this, what, 5,300 men dead on the field there. Um, in terms of what they lost and what the enemy killed, it looks like we killed quite a few of our own. But then again, those mortar shots, you know, really impressive in terms of their kills. But clearly, they hit quite a few of our own. But ultimately, the important part is we crushed the Ottoman incursion and... So many units actually survived. Only three units were completely destroyed. The writers, the creations, and the musketeers, which is kind of interesting because I was always talking about using the Sekban as a kind of lance to the slaughter to send them out to hold the enemy off. But it turned out to be just like my more... Central or Western European style troops that died. Uh, I'm sure the uh, creations are really happy w with me uh, describing them as Western Europeans. Um, wonderful battle. We even got uh, the Battle of Belgrade. Wonderful victory here. Yeah. Seems like we got a lot of victories here in eight uh, in 1625. We got three of these marker victories. And I just I'm the visual of, you know, everything going down with explosions around a house. And it's one of those funky houses, almost like that wizard stairs in the Harry Potter movies. And, like, there go stairs everywhere. And then you have the Ottomans fighting all over and their house is on fire and uh, explosions outside. And, you know, it's real Michael Bay stuff. Um, wonderful. They're going to go to recover. This guy is going to be able to take place of the writer we lost. And these ones will continue. Wonderful. So for the next episode, unless we run into another crash, and I'll have to magic my way around that, we'll hopefully have taken, or will be taken, Athens. And we'll take in Bucharest. And also... I will hopefully have uh, maybe tested out taking out Hanover. And we could have set up to attack Dresden's and the Saxons. I'm going to avoid siege battles as much as possible. Like showing off siege battle. Because I don't like them. They're so dull. But yeah. We're really now. Now we're really like closing in on victory. And um. Yeah, what I'm thinking is, this is a long episode as it is, so I'm not thinking anything. We'll think in the next episode. So what I'll say right now is, uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this one, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.